This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, October 19th, 2021. Apologies for there not being an update yesterday. I was a little under the weather. The theme for the month of October is cultivating relationship. It's always surprising to me that as much as the work of cultivation is an intentional thing, it also is true that when you leave a relationship fallow for some time, you can find surprising things in it. Tomo Hilbo wrote this reflection a few years ago for Braver Wiser. They write, My house came with a mess of a garden. It was as messy as the divorce I was going through at the time, a forest of thorny six-foot-tall thistles with a rusty fire pit and an old plum tree. Cleaning up this garden and keeping it tidy gave me a sense of control I desperately needed. For several years, I diligently weeded, added plants, grew vegetables, hosted alfresco discussion groups for church and s'mores parties for kids. My garden became a healing place for one of my daughters as she recovered from a long illness. Little did I know that it was healing me too. I remarried and when my daughter regained enough strength to launch her back into life, I took a full-time office job. Gardening time shrunk to zero. My workload is especially heavy during spring, right when Chicago flora wakes up from deep winter slumber. By the time I get through it, it's already July and my garden is too much of a mess to deal with. The space that I had kept immaculate and neat was now weedy and unkempt. Echinaceas were getting weaker and eaten almost to the ground by rabbits. Bee balms were withering, Russian sage was shrinking, and last spring the old plum tree didn't wake up. I felt so guilty for letting it all go. In three years it reverted back to being a thistle forest, now without the plum tree. I felt defeated. I kept the curtains drawn towards the remnant of my garden. This year, after the spring madness at work had passed, my husband coaxed me outside to clean up. The ground was moist and we could pull the tall, prickly thistles without much effort. He counted 291. And to my great surprise, the garden was thriving among thistles and other weeds. Thriving! Tall, skinny thistles not only didn't shade other plants, but also were acting as support structures for perennials that needed some hand-holding while growing. Pesky Creeping Charlie turned out to be fantastic ground cover, keeping the soil cool and moist and controlling other kinds of weeds. Accidental green lantern plants were lifting false indigo, and the echinaceas were growing to be full height, supported and protected by everything around them. I realized that it was my inadvertent letting go that made this wild interdependent beauty possible, and at that very moment, I knew I didn't need that sort of control anymore. How liberating that was. We left a grove of thistles in one corner, an altar for my husband, who loves thistles, and for me to thank them for welcoming me back to their garden. So in the last week, for me, I've had the opportunity to reconnect with some old friends in high school. You know, we've been, we've known each other for decades, plural now, um, but uh, I haven't had a chance to spend a whole lot of time um, catching up since since we all got married half a dozen years ago. Um, and through an accident of timing, all three of us had kids born within a year of each other. And so it's been a joy over the last few days to tend to those relationships, seeing where we've ended up all these years later. So my question for you this week um, is simple. What's a relationship for you? that has been in the corner of your garden waiting to be uncovered. See you tomorrow.